Monsoon in Arizona. It's estimated lightning strikes a half million times during the Arizona monsoon. Remember, by definition, monsoon is a season. So you should never say monsoon season. It's just monsoon. So what causes it? Monsoon is a seasonal shift in wind that brings in a lot of moisture into the desert region, which then results in showers and thunderstorms. And those thunderstorms then give us about over half the average annual rainfall that we usually receive in most of the southwest. Kyler says in Tucson, the average rainfall during monsoon is just under six inches. Monsoon runs from June 15th to September 30th. It used to start only after three consecutive days with a dew point of 54 degrees or higher. The National Weather Service changed it to the calendar dates in 2008. Monsoon storms make for amazing videos and photos. It also creates flash flooding, something people new to Tucson may not expect to see in the desert. It will immediately go into these washes and the streams and the creeks, and I think it does catch a lot of people off guard as to how quickly the water can rise around here, even on the streets. Swift water rescues are fairly common, especially for those who ignore warnings to stay out of washes that are flowing. To better understand monsoon rain, I met hydrologist Thomas Meixner, where the Tanca Verde and Pantano washes converge to form the Rito River. A professor and head of U of A's Hydrology and Atmospheric Sciences Department, Meixner explains where all the water goes. Well, quite a bit of the water falls and goes back to the sky eventually, right? It, you, if you've been around town, you've seen the plants really green up. Mm -hmm. They're drinking that water and sending it back to the atmosphere. So a good portion goes there. Meixner says much of the rest of the water from monsoon rains ends up in our washes and rivers, like the Rito. Because our monsoon's been so long and intense, you know, this water is now running out to the Santa Cruz, out of Pima County, through Pinal County, up into Maricopa County and the Gila River. But Meixner points out some of the monsoon rain in the Washington Rivers goes back into recharging our groundwater in the aquifers. Meixner says research he did with one of his graduate students revealed how much rain it takes. When it rains more than about five inches for the monsoon, basin wide, we do start seeing some recharge. The U.S. Geological Survey studied the Rito River and discovered how much water makes it down into the Tucson Aquifer. What really matters for how much gets down is how long, how long does flow happen. Sure. And essentially at that point, there's water at the surface. It's sinking into the sands and gravels of the wash and eventually arrives at the water table. It might surprise you to learn just where the aquifer is under the Tucson metro area. The aquifer underneath Tucson's big. Right. Essentially, once you get maybe a mile or two out from the mountains, you have hundreds of feet of sands and gravels below your feet. And that sand and gravel is the aquifer where water is stored. A Tucson water map shows the aquifer extends from Avra Valley up and around the Tucson mountains and across the entire valley of Tucson. But it's deep. You know, at the deepest point in the basin, it's as much as 5,000 feet deep till you hit bedrock. So some of that monsoon rainfall sits right under your feet to be pumped out later for you to use. That's what makes our monsoon absolutely Arizona.